what is good you guys i hope you are doing great i'm in a super good mood today i'm like full of energy and stuff and i don't know what it is but today i woke up like super blessed and and happy i don't know what it was but i just like the it's sun is shining the sun i'm telling you by the way by the way i got some new plans right here as well super fire plans you feel me just to like spice it up a little bit like but anyways i was making this beat and i was like bro i need to like show you guys how i made it because i found this like free harp plugin and it was just super fire that i had to make a beat with it beat turned out super fire i'm going to like break it down for you guys the beat is not finished yet so i'm going to finish it with you guys but i was just like man i really need need to make a video about this and show you guys how i made this beat because it's super fire in my opinion i was vibing to it for like 15 minutes straight but that that's when you know you you made like a crazy beat though but yeah i just want to say thank you to everyone that is supporting the channel if you are new don't forget to subscribe join the family we are almost at 4k so thumbs up for that shout out to you guys for real i'm trying to get to 20k by the end of next year august we might accomplish that together so i don't know that might work though 20k by the end of august make sure to go share the channel as much as possible with your friends and stuff produce your friends i don't know but let's just like build this community and family we're all in this together and to help each other out so let's get it bro japanese style gunna tutorial coming in two seconds so let's get it So I'm here in FL Studio. I'm going to break down the part that I already made and I'm going to show you this crazy VST that I found, this hard VST. Really good for like these Japanese style melodies. So make sure to go download it. It's completely free. So what are you waiting for? Like I always, I always come to the channel with the sauce, you feel me? So first off, I've got this scale loaded up. Um, you can just like copy it over. This is the RPST that I was talking about. Super fire in my opinion. I don't know what it was, but it's just like the sound of it that I like. It's a really simple VST, but like, I don't know, it, it really works well. So I started off by just laying down some chords. But what I then did is I spaced them out like so so it gives like that japanese style already but then i added like an extra note right here to give like that little glide stutter kind of sound i don't know how to call it but this is what it sounds like so then i was like these japanese style melodies usually got like someone grrr, like an arp going like that so grrr. so what i did i wanted to make it a little bit faster so I just like selected everything and then you got this little arrow right here and then I just like pulled it back all the way until here and that's how you get like that really realistic arp kind of strumming feeling and what I then did is just added some extra notes so super simple that's just like a cool way to like spice up your melodies just like select everything and make it like longer or make it like shorter so what i then added were some bottom notes as you can see i think these are the same notes as the ones from above so this is what it sounds like so super fire that just really creates a little bit bounce and body to the melody this is what the full pattern sounds like I don't know what it is, but it just sounding so beautiful. <laughs> so that is the main melody. What I then added was a little Vox sound from Pilgrim, his one shot kit. Really fit it well with the ARP. So in my opinion, 
crazy. But from here, I'm going to add some more melodies, some counter melodies, maybe a pad or something with you guys. So that way you can just like follow along. I encourage you to like grab your laptop while watching this video. I always say it in every video, that way you like learn the most out of this video. So just like go download that VST, try to like recreate what I did and then like follow along with me. I'm going to get into the drums just in a bit. So let's get it. I, that can work for like maybe in the background with some like reverb and stuff. This is called electric, sort of like a electric piano. I bought me some great plugins yesterday, I'm telling you. I'm going to render it out and add some reverb to it. I don't know what I'm doing, but it kind of works. So this might work for like something super wavy in the background. I'm going to drag down the sample rate, thousand, and then resample, accept, and then just drag it back in and then control alt and C. And let's see how that sounds. I don't know, it's kind of fire though. Let me see how it sounds with the ARP. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. I'm gonna add one last counter melody. I'm thinking about maybe like adding some ethnic flute or something. Time to add the drums. I just added some flutes just to like spice up the melody a little bit. Just something for like really in the background, nothing too crazy because the ARP is already like super overpowering. But I'm going to add the drums and let's get it guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I heard something crazy. I'm going to use the normal pitch and then pitch it down when the beat drops. like a stutter right here with some love filter just to give like some variation into the beat
to add a kick on like the second part of the hook just to give like some extra punch and variation into the beat so i'm just going to copy over the 808 pattern by the way all these like drum sounds are available in the description you can download it right there it's from my astro drum kit so make sure you go check that out I only want like this bridge to be like at the end of the beat that way the rapper has enough room to like work with so just like that and then just like cut it right here Bro, I think the beat turned out super fire. The beat is like super simple, but so, so fire in my opinion. Like it knocks super hard when I added like the kick for just like some extra punch on like these ones. Just like try to experiment with like different VSTs, different sounds and stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you really learned from this. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I'm active on social media as well as Kana Beats and I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace. Hey, what's going on? Is that you?